Finland doesn't rule out sending troops to Ukraine. Foreign Minister Elina Valtonen. Finnish Foreign Minister Elina Valtonen praised French President Emmanuel Macron's strategy of keeping Russia uncertain about Western support for Kyiv by suggesting the deployment of troops to Ukraine, the Financial Times says. In February, French President Macron suggested sending Western troops to Ukraine, stating France was not against it. This prompted rejections from NATO and several countries including the US, UK, Italy, Spain, Sweden, Poland and the Czech Republic. Russia threatened consequences for countries supporting Ukraine. Later, some countries like Canada and Chechia revised their stance, considering non-combat roles for their troops in Ukraine. Elina Valtonen told the Financial Times, Now's not the time to send boots on the ground, and we are not even willing to discuss it at this stage. But for the long term, of course, we shouldn't be ruling anything out. The comments from Valtonen, supported by Baltic leaders and officials, highlight Macron's recent shift on Russia and his emphasis on the importance of Russia's defeat in Ukraine for Europe's security, which has garnered favor with NATO's frontline members. France, traditionally viewed with suspicion in Central and Eastern Europe for its approach to Russia, has seen a change in Macron's stance, who initially cautioned against humiliating Russia. However, in light of Russia's actions in Ukraine, Macron now considers Russia an existential threat to the EU and French security. Lithuanian Prime Minister Ingrida Simonite has voiced support for Macron's strategy of strategic ambiguity. What I liked about two recent announcements of President Macron is that he said that actually, why should we impose ourselves red lines when Putin basically has no red lines? She noted, according to the Financial Times, Estonian Foreign Minister Magus Schakna said Macron's intervention had woken up a bit the leaders of Europe. Instead of putting boots on the ground, it is safer to send weapons and money to Ukraine. It makes Putin concerned about what Europe can actually do. This out-of-the-box thinking is useful. Zelensky reveals how US reacted to Ukraine's attacks on Russian oil refineries. President Volodymyr Zelensky has stated that the US does not approve of Ukraine's drone strikes on oil refineries in Russia, but since Ukraine uses its own drones, no one can forbid it to strike Russian oil refineries. I said this in an interview with the Washington Post. Columnist David Ignatius Zelensky was asked about the US reaction to Ukrainian drone strikes on Russian oil refineries. The reaction of the US was not positive on this. We used our drones. Nobody can say to us, you can't. If there is no air defense to protect our energy system and Russians attack it, my question is, why can't we answer them? Their society has to learn to live without petrol, without diesel, without electricity. It's fair. Zelensky said. The article noted that Washington cannot limit Ukraine's deployment of its own weapons or deter similar attacks on energy facilities in Russia. The Washington Post noted that Zelensky feels he has no choice but to launch an attack on the Russian energy system in response in the hope of creating a system of deterrence. According to Zelensky, Ukraine could stop Russian attacks on the Ukrainian energy system by forcing Russia to pay the same price and when Russia stops these steps, we will stop. He also stated that Ukraine lacks air defense systems. That's true. I don't want Russia to know what number of air defense missiles we have. But basically, you're right. Without the support of Congress, we will have a big deficit of missiles. This is the problem. We are increasing our own air defense systems, but it is not enough. Commenting on the situation in the combat zone, Zelensky talked about the shortage of ammunition, saying that if you need 8,000 rounds a day to defend the front line, Ukraine only has 2,000 rounds. So the only solution is to make the front line shorter. If it breaks, the Russians could go to the big cities. He added that Ukraine is trying to find some way not to retreat. For instance, after the Russians captured Avdiivka in Ukraine's east in February, Ukraine managed to stabilize the situation because of smart steps by our military. Zelensky believes that if the front line remains stable, Ukraine will be able to arm and train new brigades in the rear in order to conduct a new counter-offensive later. Since if Ukraine does not go on the offensive, then Russia will. If you are not taking steps forward, to prepare another counter-offensive, Russia will take them. That's what we learned in this war. If you don't do it, Russia will do it, Zelensky said.